Hello everybody, I am Jeffrey Hauser, author of the Learn With series. Today I'm going to show you how to reload a current route within Angular and reset its default state. Um, by default, the state is not usually reset in the um, components that make up the route you reload. Uh, I'll sort of demonstrate the problem, why it's a problem, and then I'll eventually sort of jump on the solution I came up with to uh, help addition address this. So um, first I'm going to have my console window open. I'm going to create a new application. So starting everything from scratch. Yes, I want routing. Uh, CSS does not matter for the purposes of this sample. So I'll just use regular CSS. This should chug through very quickly. Once it's done, I'm also going to generate a component within the application. This should generate the component. And now let's take a look at this code. Okay, um, I've opened a few files in the application. Um, we see a routing module here, which we created with ng-new, and we see the component we created with ng-generate. I've opened the routing module explicitly because we're going to add two routes here. The first is going to be the use case we're really dealing with here. Um, so let's just, let's pretend we're creating a screen that can be used for editing and modifying a component. Um, so the same screen is used for both, but we have slightly different URLs in each case. So we're going to create one URL for this U1 component for creating uh, and one for edit. And uh, for simplicity, let's do one catch all that goes to okay. okay so there that should be good here let's um, expand the constructor I'm gonna in, uh, inject two angular things and we'll uh, use those a bit later And I'm going to do a console login here. We're, we're going to be able to use that to determine by looking at the console in the browser whether or not things ran or the const constructor ran so the component was reinitialized. Uh, okay, that's looking good. Let's go to the HTML for a second. We're just going to get rid of all of this. I'm going to put an input. Yes. Uh, just for simplicity, that's so, although we're not storing it as part of the component yet, um, that's beyond the purposes of this sample. It's just so we have an input in the HTML, we can enter value it th inside it. That's essentially the state. And we want to be able to reload the component by default and set up that state. There's the click on change URL. So this is just a button I'm adding here to change the URL. And we're going to have to create this change URL function inside here. And this is going to this asks us the location and Now, looks like we don't have the replace state. That is because um, 
we don't have the right import here. And there we go. That's that. So let's uh, make sure we don't have any problems here. And I'll compile and run the application. Let's jump over to the browser. I already have it loaded. We see it properly loaded view one slash create, which is the default route we set. That was right after we loaded at 24200. We forgot to completely wipe out the um, main app component HTML. So let's do that here. And I want to leave the router outlet. That's better. So let's see what's going on here. Going to pop open, see the constructor ran. I'm going to do changes. I'm going to click change the URL. And it changed it to edit. And so that is all good and what we expected. So this, the use case here is that the user came in, made some editing on your edit screen, clicked the save button, and we're still keeping them working on the same item, but they're still no longer creating a new one, they're now editing. So we change the URL, it gives that sort of visual approval to the user. You might throw an ID in that URL or something probably. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more button in here. What we're gonna show now is sort of a save and new. So you click save to save an element and then you want to automatically create a new one of that element. So to do that you want to reload and reinitialize the current URL. This is kind of the first thing you'll try. Or that we tried anyway when we were trying to do this. And I'm gonna move back. So I'm in the view on HTML component and I'm going to switch over to view 2 and I'm going to throw a log in here so that router.url and I'm going to use this dot router navigate by URL to view one dot create oh, and we need that on there so this should have automatically recompiled and we're good to go. Uh, I'm going to add a line break in the HTML. And one after that one for good measure. There we go. So the user comes in, types their text, makes their edits. They change the URL. Actually, let's, we're starting at the create change the URL. Actually, I probably had that right the first time. Um, we initialization once. Now they want to save and start a new one. So they reload the current route, which is the code you just saw. And you'll notice, even though what you see in the browser is view one slash edit, what you see output for that um, route URL is still the create. So the, the, the code we did um, using the location replaced the browser state, but didn't replace or address the Angular internals, so it still thinks it's on the create URL. So when we tried to navigate by URL to the create URL, nothing happened and this input was not reinitialized. That is the problem that we need to solve, that we're trying to solve. Okay, let's talk a little about the solution here. We're going to have to do two things to the code. First, we're going to drill down into the router. It has this property called root reuse strategy and a method called should reuse route. Um, this method just returns a Boolean value to determine whether it should reuse a route or not. We're actually not going to call that function. We are going to replace it completely and we are going to return it with false. Which, which tells the router, do not reuse this route. Uh, that's the first thing. We're also going to need to do a config when we load the routes into our module. So there's a second argument here for um, 
I go on same URL navigation and we're going to set it to reload. So if we do these two separate things, um, adding the on same URL navigation to reload when we load the routes and also setting this um, should reuse route to the reuse strategy of the router um, to f be a function that always returns false. Um, these two things are going to solve our issue. So let's, uh, I'm just going to make sure we have everything loaded here. So uh, user comes in, types text, maybe saves it, maybe makes more changes, then reloads. We see the constructor ran again, and there's no longer text in the, our um, input. So if we do it again, we can keep doing it. And this solves the issue we were trying to solve. We don't have to write our own initialization code because we already have initialization code in essence as part of the um, default component. So we just set this uh, configuration value in the route when the routes are loaded. Um, actually, not part of the route, part of the router. And we set that reuse strategy so that it always returns false, which will not reuse a route. We do those two things, and now we can reload the routes, and they'll reinitialize into the default state when we're using navigate by URL. And if you search around for options, a lot of this is not really spoken about anywhere. Everybody suggests writing your own initialization code and just sort of dealing with it. But I thought this was a much cleaner, much easier approach than having to write code to reinitialize every component to the default state.